to a discussion on nothing. We're doing it. Uh, we're doing it a little different than uh, than we're gonna than our normal way we're gonna do it. But uh, it's quarantine, so here we are. <laughs> um, yeah, we're we're gonna go ahead and kick this off. I guess this is episode one. We've done a lot of renditions, sort of of this of this thing um, in different ways. I've done we've done meetings where people sit down and you know we kind of just sit in a room and, and chat. Uh, we've done radio shows with it, which is kind of what this is, sort of. It's a podcast slash radio thing, uh, and YouTube too. We're doing YouTube this time. Um, but basically, like it always revolves sort of around one topic, which is nothing, right? <laughs> um, you know, the long and the short of it is that anyways, it's hard to just like say, well, yeah, we're just going to talk about nothing because what is nothing? Like, what, what is nothing? Anyways, no, like nothing can't actually be talked about because that would be something, right? So that's the beauty of a discussion on nothing is, is we got, we got to dive deep to even, even scratch the surface of sort of understanding like how to even talk about nothing first, right? Like that's, that's sort of the first like hill you have to climb. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and introduce ourselves first. I'm, my name is Daniel and, uh, today we got, we got a guest Jordan. Yeah, I'm, uh, so, my, my name is Jordan. Uh, happy to be here. Happy to be part of this, this new, this new way of doing the discussion on nothing. Cause, uh, yeah, I mean, I've been in the meetings. I, <laughs> I've, I've been kind of since watch this whole thing kind of grow. So thanks. For cool. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for, thanks for being here. It'll be fun to chat today. Um, so yeah, first off, I mean, nothing, right? What is nothing? How do you even talk about something that isn't, right? Like, so, yeah, so well, nothing yeah. isn't a thing, right? You can't. And, and you know, I, I think society has such a way of, of making you believe that nothing is an actual thing. It's a obtainable right. thing in a negative context. Like, right. So, so, like, oh man, well, I don't want nothing, but nothing really is what encompasses everything. <laughs> Absolutely. You wouldn't be able to hear that dog barking if nothing didn't exist for it to happen within, you know? So Right, right. There's, yeah, the sub, there's sort of like, there's nothing and there's something, there has to be both, right? Because we're like, we live in a dualistic existence, right? Non-dual, non-duality is sort of realizing that we don't really live in a dualistic um, existence, that everything is just one thing. And, um, but, but that we can play with it, but in order to play with it, we have to sort of split it almost, right? We have to create this dualistic sense, which is like, you know, nothing and something. But the thing is, is that people, people seem to miss that nothing is sort of the substrate, right? Yeah. It's, the, it's the beforehand before something can be it's, there. It's, it's the infrastructure, man. It's right, the yeah. Infrastructure, really. Like, to, to really understand, like, what this podcast is going to talk about, what your show is going to talk about, you really have to be able to just completely kibosh everything that you think you know. If you For can't sure. do that, this is a podcast that's going to just piss you off. Like, Yeah, absolutely. And, and I think we could both say that firsthand. Like, I'm obviously, I I work closely with you with Perceived. I've, you know, been in bands with you, have the Never Ever Project with you, a bunch of different things. So I'm, I'm constantly around you. And so this is not new territory for me to talk about when I'm right. around you. But <laughs> I have seen, I have seen <coughs> rather, whether it be my own personal experience of going and talking to somebody about something like this it just gets brought up like because once you kind of like get what we're talking about here it's, it's kind of hard not to uh notice it's funny it's everywhere right it's funny to even use the words like get because like there's you're no grasping it yeah there's not there's not a grasping of of what it is it's sort of an ungrasping if you it's like a letting go that, that, and then sort of seeing what's left right and that, that, that doesn't even really do Right. good explanation of it that's why it's a discussion on nothing like you yeah. cannot talk about it. exactly and, exactly you know, that's sort of that's sort of the paradox of, of the show right is like we're gonna we're gonna talk about something that you literally can't talk about because because talking like sort of exists inside yeah. of it so it's 
it pollutes it. The minute you start to talk about it, you've just it, it polluted it by trying to talk about it. Right. So, and then yes. the minute the person you're talking to, if they've never had this conversation, all of a sudden that pollution of verbalizing it gets auditorily heard and it adds another layer of pollution because now you're adding in thought and ego and whatever else you fucking bring to the table with you. And it's impossible to really get down to the core of what it is. It's that perfect right. example that you use so many times, like when we were first hanging out and cause trust me, man, like when you first started talking about this shit, I was like, <laughs> most, 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 I was <clears throat> when I first, when I first was introduced to this stuff, don't, don't make it seem like I'm some, like I've discovered some new, like, thing and now i know everything that's not at all what it is i've i i realized something i forgot and remembered i don't know anything <laughs> like <laughs> yeah it's it's and there's multiple ways to come to that to that realization you know some people have to oh, do it through there's through infinite moments. ways literally um, literally infinite ways. i i think i think you know for me that it wasn't as impactful i've kind of like understood your experience with the moment i'm just going to say the experience with the moment because that's the best way i can really ex describe what happens when you have a better understanding of what the fuck we're talking about more or less like, right yeah no i i understand i i it's hard to talk about because it's like it's not really an experience right it's a lack of experience yeah. that sort of takes place and when that happens you can't call it an experience because that no. would like be giving it like character and you know yeah and it's not it's it's none of that it's literally like a disappearing of all of that and like trying to put that into words <laughs> it's a little difficult yeah and people come difficult. to that on, on different on an in infinite amount of ways at some point in time during your human existence you will experience what the fuck we're talking about absolutely um, well because it's you, it's your it's your ultimate nature it is what you are like deep down, like a lot of people are like, well, oh, I'm a soul in a body. Great. That's great. That's, there's nothing wrong with that, with that perspective. And there's, and it's not wrong. It's right actually. But it's still like, it's still that nothing that's experiencing it. And like at some point there's an absolution and like a unification with that nothing. Sometimes it's death. Sometimes it's deep meditation. Sometimes it's psychedelics. Right. Sometimes it's, just having a really deep connected conversation with someone. And sometimes it's just turning around in your fucking kitchen right when you think of something that just is the right thing to think of and everything shatters and, and it just your entire perception of the way the world works doesn't get shattered, but you realize that the way you've been thinking about it is shatterable only because it's not real. And once you recognize that the way that you think it is isn't real, then there's obviously something that's perceiving that. And when that happens, you like recognize what nothing is and it's literally just you. <laughs> and it's crazy. <laughs> to get there. Like some people get there like that and others get there through just, you know, bankruptcy. And I mean, bankruptcy can happen on more than just like a financial Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Right. Existential bankruptcy, man. Yeah. <laughs> financially bankrupt, spiritually bankrupt, you know, health could be completely bankrupt, all these things. And so at some point in time, you hit this point of realization where everything that you build up through society telling you all these things, right. That you need, this makes you this, this makes you whole, a consumer society, basically mindset at some point in time, all that drops away and you realize that there is absolutely no difference in anything that you're viewing anymore from you yourself to the things that you are viewing. You are the negative space, the construct, the, the, the foundation, which all that happens. And, right. And you don't go back after that. You forget it because, but you only forget it because you try to make sense of it. And the more you try to make sense of it, the more layers you're adding to it. Right. Yeah. You create, so, you sort of create a new, a new, um, illusion, right? The illusion it, it shatters happen, and then all of a sudden you like, make sure you put some new ones in place so it doesn't go fully like, And away. I almost wonder, like, <laughs> is, is that what, like, is that potentially what dementia or Alzheimer's feels like? You start to like remember something and then you like, 
start trying to think about it more and make more sense of it and then it's gone so you just remember something to forget it just so you can remember it again and perhaps that's hmm. the goal but it's just like that's an that's an interesting that's an interesting thought I, I i like that thought i have an interesting thought about um schizophrenia and i think that that is that the, the people who have schizophrenia their minds are so open right that they are at, they're actually hearing like past memories and like, you know, and stuff like that. But it's so clear to them because their mind's so wide that it's like I'm talking to you right now. And so, you know, to, to the, un, uh, to the un, uh, I suppose, uh, conscious eye, it could seem like that person is insane, right? But like to a conscious eye, to me, like I, I'm not saying like I'm conscious. I'm just saying I look at the world through a consciousness filter, right? I, I go, okay, like everything is, is experienced through this thing, right? This thing that you're living and that I'm living. It's called life. It's called, you know, it's whatever. There's a, there's a perception of reality happening and there's a first person portion to that. And you would call it yours. I would call it mine. You know, my mother's would call it hers. Your dogs would call it, you know, his and so on and so forth. But that right there is the thing that like is the unification factor. It's like one octopus with like, you know, all these tentacles coming out and all these little tentacles are, you know, you and me and the dog. And, but there's, there's only just the whole thing. Right. And the whole thing being there is like, is it's just it's always that way right like and and you can hear it you know thoughts happen they're constant you can hear your dog if you are open enough to hear your dog you can hear what your dog is thinking like i know that sounds ridiculous to some people but it's for real and if you have a dog you know i'm not lying right now right um but like i, I think people huh <laughs> What? <laughs> not to not to cut you off, but like just on that note of you can hear your dog, like this is like a total total derailment of, of what you're saying. And I, I am sorry, but how <laughs> fucked up would it be if your dog one day just came in front of you and looked you just straight in the eye and said, Nobody's gonna believe you. And <laughs> fucking the rest of its goddamn life. Like, it like out it. loud in English. <laughs> Nobody, and that's all it says. Nobody's it's, ever going to believe you. Nobody's <laughs> ever going to believe you. And then it doesn't say a fucking word to you the rest of its life. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. That'd be great. That's sort of, that's a perfect like analogy to like waking up to what we're talking about right, right now. That's a perfect analogy because what happens is you go, Oh my God, that's right. And then you go, nobody's going to fucking believe this. <laughs> like at all, nope. like at all. And, and you go, and that's the way it's designed. Like you, you recognize that right in the moment. That's the way it's designed. It's specifically designed so that you miss it. Um, <clears throat> but back to the, back to what I was talking about was, um, I think people with schizophrenia, are as opposed to being the brain in each of the tentacles, right? They're the brain in the fucking octopus. Right, okay. You know what I'm saying? They, they like, get it. They, and, like, obviously, there's more to the octopus, right? There's the ocean. <laughs> That's one giant thing, too. And then there's the earth, and then there's so on and so forth. And you can go all the way back out. And it, it doesn't matter how far out you go. You won't find a, an end to it because there isn't one. Like, how would there be an end to something that never began? Right. <laughs> and something is something that has to begin. Like, nothing can't start or stop. Nothing just is. Int. <laughs> is. Int. <laughs> hey, what did you say? <laughs> If you would just listen to your dog, I'm just kidding. But you get what I'm saying. Like, like you, you know, yeah, you know, you know the different things that he wants, right? Like, obviously, when you're not on a podcast talking to somebody else, you're able to like intuit what your dog wants. You're like, oh, he's hungry, or oh, he needs to go outside, or oh, he wants the ball, or you know, oh, he wants to bite me, or, <laughs> or oh, my other dog's just tormenting him. Yeah. <laughs> but that happens. You know, and that's, and that's the beauty of this whole thing is like, 
there isn't sort of a a purpose or a reason to it. Like there's not there's not a reason your dog's barking. Your dog's just barking. Like and he's not even your dog. He's just he's not even a dog. It's just you. Like there's just barking happening in this thing, right? Which is like nothing. That's what the thing is, is it's nothing. And, you know, and a lot of people will hear that and go, well, you know, how is it nothing? You're sitting here talking, there's sounds, there's blah, 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 blah. Right. Because before all that, there has to be nothing. Then there's the something. You're missing the nothing. If you can see the nothing, then you understand like Buddha mind. You understand that's what Buddha saw was he saw the nothing, you know, you know, it's, 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 it's simple to see it's, but it's very easy to miss, <laughs> but very easy to miss. I mean, how do you, when you look at a mirror, right? You only know the start of the mirror because you can touch it. Right. Let's say you only had hands or only had eyes, not, and you didn't have hands and you looked into that mirror, where would it start? Well, I think it would start inside, like, right? Like your own first person perspective is if you want to break it down into layers, like, and take the feel completely out of out of the experience of life you know that's that's one of the senses that happens so you can experience life you take feel out of it you still can feel in a sense right? oh, you can feel well, space i'm asking about a mirror i'm asking a simple mirror like an actual mirror if you're looking at a mirror and you can't touch that mirror how do you know where it starts on a physical level you don't you don't exactly and that's sort of that's sort of the point. That's what I'm kind of getting at here is there isn't a beginning to like where this nothing that I'm talking about is. The nothing that I'm talking about is literally everything that is around you. It's every not even that is around you, it's everything. Period. It's everything. And it's so much everything that it's not any specific thing. It's nothing. And um you know, like, that's why I love the mirror analogy, right? Is like, because a lot of people talk about, you know, you're a reflection, right? You're a, which is true. You know, you are just this thing that's happening and there's an internal world that's occurring too. And it's thoughts and emotions and, you know, there's, there's audible stuff. There's, you know, visual stuff. You can even taste stuff. Like if I have you taste a lemon right now. You can taste the lemon a little, you know, in an odd way. It's not, it's not in a, in the, like my, my tongue can actually taste the lemon, but your brain goes, oh yeah, no, I got you. And then you kind of make that face. I got you. And you're like, ooh, that's, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or, or I have you smell some shit real quick. Yeah, that's gross. Nasty. It's nasty, but it's not real, right? Just like all this stuff around you, including, you know, the taste of the tea that you drink, the taste of your vape, you know, while these are sensory perceptions, they're no more real than your thoughts are. They're the exact same thing as your thoughts. There's just a more solid sort of illusion taking place because you're in this one. <laughs> you're actually inside this thought. You're not inside the ones with, you know, the four-headed elephant right now. You're not, you are there. But you're there in the same way you're here. You know, it's just like this sign back here, right? My, my now sign. You know, it's like there's, there isn't such thing as yesterday and there isn't such thing as a tomorrow. It's, there's, no, there's not even such thing as a couple seconds from now. Like that's not a real thing. A couple seconds from now is now, period. It doesn't, it's not a couple minutes from now is now. It, it never changes. 10 minutes ago was now like there's no there's no changing when now is and realizing that now is sort of everywhere you you recognize that now and nothing are are identical they are literally the same thing because there's no beginning there's no end to either like where outside the present moment have you ever been like 
can can you even can you even like can you even can you tell me somewhere like that you can even go outside the present moment? Well, you can. You can, you can think you can think of a memory and like mentally go there, but you're mentally going there now. Now, yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> See, and that's the beauty. Of, that's the beauty of, of dogs. I love dogs. I have two dogs too, and I adore that about dogs. Is they don't care. They don't give a shit if you guys are doing a podcast. I'm dealing with this guy now, and I'm and they have zero filter, <clears throat> which. As, as much as people don't like it, not having a filter means that that person is bluntly honest with you. Like, if if you have a friend or a family member or whatever that has no filter, like I have a couple family members and friends that have zero filters. I'm probably one of them. Oh, you're one of them. <laughs> I, I I know that I am. You're I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm viewed like that from everybody, but I I do know I don't really have a filter. All right, so we're back. We had a little technical difficulty with connection, but we are back. Um, but yeah, like like I said, I know I don't have a filter, and you know, um, not having a filter can get you into some hot water. But it it also it comes with being a very like integral sort of you know person, you know. And I, I respect people that don't have filters, to be honest. I, I find myself respecting those sort of people a lot of right. a lot of, even if I disagree massively with what they're saying, the and fact that they like say it because it's what they believe and it's what how they really feel, like props. You and, know what I mean? I, I, I agree completely. And like just to add to that, like typically people that don't have a filter, they choose there's there's two types of people that don't have a filter, right? There's the types of person that doesn't have a filter because they don't want to lie to themselves and they don't want to lie to the people they care about. But then there's the other type that just doesn't have a filter and they can't control what the hell comes out of their mouth. Right. 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 So to be clear, yeah, there, there are, two, there are different, yeah, there are and, different sort of and, levels, I and guess, the, too. The type of person that there's you're tact. It's just, it's learning tact. Yeah, that's, like, that's all it is. Right. And the, and the type of person you're talking about is not typically, You'll, you'll notice that type of person that doesn't have the filter that you and I both have come to like really enjoy, at least with each other, I, I, would, I would think, is, uh, you know, there's more listening involved in that type of individual than speaking. Uh, right. Yeah, exactly. And that's, they, and that's like the only way to notice a difference, really. Right. Yeah. Well, they're wanting, they're wanting to like have a conversation. And like have a back and forth and almost have a debate because there's a reason to have a debate and there's a reason to not have a filter because in a debate, if you're having a debate, what's the point in, um, in having a filter? <laughs> of course. Like if you have a filter, what, what's there to debate about? It's just, okay. Yeah, I guess you're right. Like, well, that's not a debate. Well, so for a debate to happen, ego has to exist too, though. For sure, for sure, and it's a balance, right? You have to find that balance. Like, um, you know, with my filter, I know that sometimes my ego gets in the way more than more than the message, right? And that's not a great thing because when that happens, the message gets missed completely. Um, and you know, that's not on the person receiving the message. It's on that person as to how they react to that, to however they've perceived that message, right? right. But it's up to me, right, to, to word things the right way and to take the time to, to take that person's perspective in, in order to, you know, to functionally have no filter. Because like you said, there's sort of, there's different aspects, right? Like there's, there's people that are, that are just racist, right? That'll just sit there and like spit out, you know, profanities at somebody because they don't like, you know, the, the race of that person. And that kind of stuff, right, is not the kind of no filter we're talking about. We're talking about no filter where like somebody has like, say a drinking problem, right? Or, or you know, and it's, it's damaging their like lives. Not having a filter means saying, hey, you're fucking like everybody's life up right now, including your own. Um, and you need to get some help. You know, that's not having a filter. Right. <laughs> in, in, a tact, about, in a tactful way. 
I mean, obviously, that's not the way you'd necessarily word it to somebody, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah, so not having a filter has a benefit. Like, by not being a filter, by not, you know, using a filter when you communicate with people you care about, you're you're nixing out the possibility of being a codependent to somebody that really kind of needs to hear the truth is the right. plus side of not having a filter. Right. Um, another thing with not having a filter is, you know, getting back to what we were talking about is that it literally is you living now. It's li- you living fully in na- the now so much so that what you're thinking is just what you're saying, you know, and there's, there's benefits and, and, you know, detractions from that, but that's, that's sort of a, a layered topic. And it's not necessarily what we're like really talking about here, right? I mean, it's it's helpful, right? And that's the thing you'll find throughout this entire podcast is that there's going to be layered talks. There's going to be a lot of layered talks um, where we're talking about, you know, just silly stuff such as not having a filter and your dog's barking and not, and not having a filter. Um, we'll also talk about goofy stuff, you know, that has nothing to do with what we're talking about, Um you know, in the long run, but, but it will all, all find its way back to, to this, to right this very moment, like what's happening right this very second can't ever change. So no matter what contents that has, there it is. And like, that's sort of what we're going to continuously talk about on this show. Okay, cool. So yeah, if we start to glitch out, I'll just pause you for a second. We'll just keep moving. Um, so, uh, I I have a question, Jordan, you've, you've read quite a few self-development books, correct? So, um, the power of now is, was in that list. Yes. Yeah. That, that book talks sort of about what we're talking about pretty substantially. It's a, it's a, it's a good, uh, it's a good self-development book. Um, I would dare say spirituality book. Um, I don't like saying that because that's, that sometimes tends to steer some people away. Um, for some reason, I'm not sure why, to be honest with you. Um, but, um, maybe maybe because it wasn't marketed like the answer, let's be real. Oh, the secret. Yeah. Or, or yeah, the secret. Sorry. The secret. No, I knew power exactly what you were talking about, though. Yeah. Well, the power of now focuses on consciousness, right? And like, so when I say spiritual, and and I and I tie spiritual and consciousness together, that ruffles some feathers, um, because there's some there's some viewpoints out there that spirituality and consciousness are completely yep. separate things, right? And and I have a. I have a firm belief that they're not, they're both, they're both the same thing. And they're both that same thing that we're continuously talking about, which is nothing. And it's now, and it's this, this, this book, actually that one. Yeah. 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 This is, this is a book that, that definitely the author that wrote it views consciousness and spirituality as a complete separate like as like po- as like polar opposites no, or it was, it was, just yeah, different yeah. things like, yeah. they are two different things like nothing is whole by that author author but the funny thing is is like when you read like kind of like further into it you see where all of it's the same as every last book that you read before that so but the author doesn't <laughs> realize that the author didn't write the other books that, that i read or that you read or that we read right. but Right. What is they may, they may have read them. They may have read those books, but they yeah, didn't write they them. Didn't, You're right. They yeah. Didn't, they didn't write them. So. Right. Yeah. Um, but yeah. The the power of now. You know, Eckhart talks about um, the thing we're talking about. He uses the word presence um, as yeah. as his term for for sort of for what for the the sort of the secret right that the that secret hidden in plain sight is presence right. God is, is presence. Um, you know, enlightenment is, is presence. It's understanding and becoming presence, not becoming present, but becoming presence itself. And, and like when you, when you actually become presence itself, like it, it puts you in this timeless, formless, 
like, I, I don't even want to call it space because space is still something and it's not really what it is, but that it's sort of what it is, right? That's the illusion. That's the illusion that's kind of happening. And um, I love that though. I love, I love presence. It's like, that's a, that's a great way of putting it, right? Because there is, right. there is a presence that's happening right now. And I can see it clear as day. You don't, you don't like, have to just see it. Like seeing it might be another level starting small. Like, like Oh yeah, asking, absolutely. Like if I was to ask you right now, like, can you feel, can you feel the space in between your hand? Like, can you feel like, that? like, like the, like here? Fuck. Start with the fingertip. Do you feel the space in between that fingertip? Everything right. happening with in between that. You have to give it a little bit of time, but yes. But then, but then you move it into like your hand, you feel that, right? Like, yeah. and like, if I was to describe that space to you, like I can't really describe it. And that's right. why a discussion on nothing remains to be just nothing more than a discussion on nothing. Right. But, <laughs> <laughs> I can feel that. And if I give it a label of what I feel, I feel this like warm, meaty movement, this, this, uh, energy, right. Would be the, the correct term. There's something in there. I don't know if there's a correct term per se. Well, there's not, but as you like fucking move that through your whole body, like that experience, well, that's step point zero zero one because that's what's happening outside everywhere else but right. what what the what the power <clears throat> now speaks on is presence in that state that is literally what they're pointing to not presence in like oh i'm jordan and i'm present uh right now it's 253 friday <laughs> may 1st that's right. not presence right that's that's just it's presence it's sensory it's sensory perception and how do you describe sensory perception? It's literally, that's literally something you can't describe. Let me ask you a question. Let's see if you can answer this for me. Without pointing at anything, okay, and without describing an object, I want you to explain to me, pretend I'm blind, okay? And I want you to explain to me what the color red is. Yeah, no, you can't. Can't do it. Because even, it's even a, if I spent if I was <laughs> spend another five minutes of thinking a way to do it. You could spend I, ten years, man. It wouldn't matter. <laughs> it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter. matter because I, I that's that's like You'll never like, be able to explain what red is. You can try <laughs> to explain it, but any way that even if you come up with a way of actually being able to zero in on explaining what the Q is, explain to a bright a blind person what Q is, what line Yeah, is, what what's you? What's once light? You get past, once you get past all that and you can actually really explain to the person that's blind what red is, they're not perceiving it for the notion that it is because they're perceiving it a different way by listening to you. So they're Yes, they're blind. perceiving it through your glasses. Exactly. They're perceiving it through your glasses. Um, another thing to, to realize, yeah, is that like red to you could be blue to me, you know? I mean, you, you are colorblind. Like you're actually colorblind. You you yeah. you have a hard time differentiating green and blue. I've I've purple. Purple. and purple. Yeah, those those three seem to kind of be a a, a jumble for you, which is interesting. Yeah. yeah, it's interesting. I love sending it to the store to get me like two, you know, like monsters or rock stars or whatever. And I always tell you to get me one of each one of each color because <laughs> they look kind of like the same color to you, right? It's a, it's a gamble. <laughs> they I sort of mixed together. I hope didn't stock them together. Like, just, <laughs> you do your job, right. I'll do what I'm supposed to do, and the world goes on. <clears throat> but, yeah, I mean. Weird, right? So, like, I understand, like, colorblind, like, people that are, uh, like, fully colorblind. Like, just to preface on this, like, I'm not fully colorblind. I, I have a hard time distinguishing greens, blues. And dark purples because dark purples kind uh, of like there. There's also I, like there's also like I, I like ten or fifteen different like way like color blindnesses too. There's, like, there's right, different. Like I, I still see a color. Like I don't see black and white. Like I still see a color. Right. Right. 
know what color I'm really seeing. Like, and that, that's hard for me to explain to somebody that's not colorblind. That is very, very difficult. Well, I mean, if you think about it, if you think about it, I mean, how am I supposed to know I'm not colorblind? I'm just going off the general populace. How do we know that you're actually not seeing the world the way it really is and that the rest of us are the ones all seeing it wrong, we right? Know. Like I just go off of – I say I'm not colorblind because the majority of the rest of the world agrees with the colors I say. <laughs> That's it. That's it. It has nothing to do with fact or, or, or science or anything. It's just a general agreement, which is actually how like all this has sort of like become a thing. You know, I'm, I'm Daniel because everybody agrees th of that. Like, that's it. That's the only reason that makes me Daniel. It's the right. only thing that makes me Daniel. Um, I, I, I have a, I have, you know, a beard because I, I have a beard, like, because that's just what's happening. I like, don't, I don't shave, right? Like if, if you know me, I don't, I don't shave. I just like, I haven't shaved in years i think i gave it a tiny tiny trim for yeah, my uh, yeah, my mother-in-law i i did it for my mother-in-law because she was like we are going to a family dinner and you need to cut i said okay i understand okay. so i will i will do it but only I, for I, you <laughs> i haven't i haven't shaved my entire life so well there you go that's a lie that's a complete lie uh you you get one just, just don't care anymore about how your face looks, and then, uh, and then you'll look like like this. Because mine used to grow like that too, but my, and now my it's ego, just. But my ego now it grows all crazy. My, my ego that so badly <laughs> wants to believe that, you know, like I've got this thing, this ego that that believes entirely that this is exactly who I am. Well, there you yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. It it, it it tells me to shave. It says, I don't like the way this thing looks right now. <laughs> and, I listen, and I listen to it. I'm listening to mine right now. You hear, You see what I'm doing over here? I'm fixing my beard. Did you see that? I just fixed it. Now it's like, now it's somewhat in, in order, right? My ego is like, ah, oh. it's like so happy now. I could have just left it, right? And like everything would have been fine. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be dying. I wouldn't be like suffering i wouldn't be but my ego would be in there going bro your your, your facial but hair it man, it's back. looking bad because because the minute that you air this like you could it, it would come back what it's what do you mean here. like your ego would come back like so you could oh yeah i'm gonna fucking fix this and then we release this episode and you watch it three months from now you're like oh oh and then i yeah you're as soon as i see myself it. fixing it yeah yes. Because and it's because of influence, right? It's because of influence from, from society. I mean, even, because when I'm watching this video, you know, back later on, if I do, this is, this is, a, I don't know if I'm going to watch these, but like, you know, if I'm watching this and I see that, yeah, it like, this is part of society. Now it's no longer me, right? Once this thing goes out onto the web, it's not me anymore. It's, it's its own digital creation now. And, you know, it's part of society and I can watch it and be influenced by it just the same. And, well, is it influence or is it <laughs> you're going to all of a sudden want to identify, right? Because I, I, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Who knows? I, I think that's maybe it. Because <clears throat> I, I could like, let's, let's like take that example of you, you fix your beard now, but had you not fixed your beard and you're watching this, whether it be for editing purposes or just whatever the hell. It just pops up on accident because your computer decided to open it. So you'll see it again, and all of a sudden you're like, "Oh my god!" I bet that I bet that thought will at least cross your mind of, "Oh my god, I need to fix this." So that's social conditioning. Now we take it away yeah. from this meeting and you viewing it down the road, and you go out to the store because that's really all you can do today. Let's look at <laughs> right, that's all, that's all I do do. Ah, I said do do. So, so you'll go out and and probably wonder kind of how you're looking because this is such a weird a weird point in time point in now that we're experiencing where you're the accused no matter where you go oh yeah absolutely wow what a magnificent display of ego and separation <laughs> wow yeah wow absolutely division that's it that's what like to, this is all showing massive division you know 
It's funny. I, I, I posted uh, a comment on a news channel, which I don't usually do that, by the way, just because I think it's, it's, it's silly sometimes, but I, I felt like, I felt like this one was a little ridiculous because there was, I won't, I won't like call them out or anything, but it was a, a news channel who was basically <clears throat> completely like flipping on a story that they had, they had, um, you know, done, I think two weeks prior. And so I was, I was sitting here like, Oh my God, like they're, they're saying like, basically like, don't freak out about this thing. And then like, <laughs> and then, you know, a couple of days ago, they were like, freak out, like fucking crazy. And like, <laughs> it was like, yeah, it was like, now you should freak out. Cause like, it's way worse than like, and it was like, I was like, like, really? Like, what the hell is wrong with this news outlet? And so I, I commented on it and it was just a little, uh, kind of goofy joke, meme look kind of comment that said the news, you know, you know, a couple weeks ago, be scared or don't be scared about this. The, the same news, you know, today, <laughs> be terrified <laughs> anyways. Um, but on that comment, I got, you know, I got a lot, a lot, a lot of likes. Um, and then a, a couple com or a comment or two of like, of like support. Yeah. Like they agreed with it. And then another, you know, another comment with somebody's like, well then just stay home, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, <laughs> what is this world coming to? It's just, it's like, you can't do anything without there being complete division, you know? And it's like, and that's sort of what I, what I commented about, right? Like that was sort of me pointing out, you know, the media is literally intentionally dividing us all. Like they are intentionally making people not scared so that those people are good. Then they got to make sure they scare the other people so that the ones that weren't, were like not scared are now scared and, and vice versa. And then it brings out this like hostility because there's like survival mode kicks in. Right. And, and us as humans, we have to live, we have to like fight for our right to survive. Right. And like, it's, that's not, it's not the case. You can't kill life, and that is what you are. So you can't actually die. One day, this body will die. And, you know, whether it's from getting shot <laughs> or from, you know, a car wreck or old age or being sick or whatever, you know, this body will die. I'm not oblivious to that. But I won't because I'm not this body. And, like, understanding that neither are you you're the same thing that I am. Like we are all that. We are all that thing, which consciousness is a beautiful word to term for it because it's what you are. And there's not, like there's, it's not reliant on a body. It's reliant on nothing. <laughs> Literally. Like I don't mean nothing it's it doesn't rely on anything i mean it's reliant on that it's reliant on nothing like if nothing was not there it could not be like you wouldn't be here if nothing was not a thing for real like i know that sounds kind of funny like and but it's like, paradoxical what i'm saying right we said at the beginning right at the beginning if you can't drop everything that you think to know is true this is probably a podcast that's gonna fuck with you and yeah rhymes so if it rhymes, it, it, it must be legit. That's the truth. Like, look at nursery rhymes, man. You don't fuck around with that shit. I go to bed on time. Thanks, Mother Goose. Yeah, I don't do that. Like, maybe I need to read nursery rhymes. And when the <laughs> hell do you go to bed? You text me. At I don't go to bed. Like I'm just fire. kidding. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I, uh. No, you know, but like Grimm's fairy tales, it's funny because like a lot of those, you know, parables and stuff are like, like I said, they're parables. They're those fairy tales, right? They're, they're, they're moralistic metaphors, you know, for people's interpretation of the right way. Because I don't want to say the right way, because like that's, that's sort of the, the difficult pill with this whole thing is that morality is based in 
opinion. And so what's moral to you isn't necessarily moral to someone else. But allowing all of those morals to sort of exist without without any with complete love like that's 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 god that's the thing that people are talking about like understanding that god is love is life is you is like such a huge thing to being able to be Be bigger for someone else, right? Like, okay, that's a good way to put it. it. It's cool to be like, to be able to like grow yourself, right? Self development is always a good thing, but consciousness development is more important because consciousness development allows you to be a space for other people, right? right. It allows you to be, be a space in which someone else can exist. Yeah, you put out a different frequency and like, I mean, everything is a frequency. Energy at its finest level is a frequency. So when you're functioning or putting out a certain frequency, the people that tend to be around you, they pick up on that frequency or they repel, right? So it kind of comes back to the person that, that's, that has no filter. Like he's allowed to have no filter because the frequency he's putting out is drawing in the people that are kind of vibing off that same frequency. So right. for him not to have a filter is respected by those people, right? So it, it all goes hand in hand. Everything is just a giant, strange goddamn loop, if you will. And that's it is. All that's it is. It. Yeah. It's the snake you eating know, like its own this, tail, you know? It's this, this, the this Ouroboros. Moment right now, this moment right now that we're sharing, doing a pilot episode on a discussion of nothing that's, Hey, we're doing this right now, but five, 10 years, 10 days doesn't really matter. You know, like at some point in time, your frequencies, you could change. I could change. Well, that's the, that's the beauty of the universe, right? Is we live in a universe in which the only constant, it's not even that we live in a universe in which that's the, the only constant, but that is the only constant in all of existence, period, is yeah. change. Yeah. Period. Not. It's because not just in this universe. In every energy. universe. Everything in every energy. universe. Right. Everything is energy. Everything is movement. Movement right. is change. Now, where you fuck it up is when you think change is a verb. Change isn't the verb. If if change is a verb, then your existence, your life, is nothing more than a verb. And I'm gonna say that's true. That is but true. Yeah. Absolutely. Probably be like, well, wait a minute. I'm gonna go back. On I'm going to go back and like, just really high, like, how do I figure that out? Cause change is something that I experience. But then if you fucking question them, you say, well, you're experiencing change. Well, that's, that's an action. Therefore your experience of experience change must is be an action that you are a verb. So you're an action is a verb. It well, is nothing more than an action. We're called being right. We're called beings, right? The ultimate yeah. being is God. They, that's like the ultimate being is God. Yeah, because being is a verb. And like the being, the universe being Daniel right now is exactly what we're talking about here. The universe being Jordan or being yeah. you, yeah. right? Who's watching this okay. or listening to this. The universe that's, being a human. The human that's is being. The being and the human being is being <laughs> Break it down exactly. to however far you want. Exactly. Like that, what was that one story? I remember there's another like this story that you had maybe read somewhere and it was years ago. It was probably a good four or five years ago when we really started having like just so that our viewers are aware, this is pretty well how our conversations go all the damn All the time, yeah. Like I told I, I told Jordan he asked me yesterday because I was like, Hey, you got you should be on my podcast tomorrow. I'm like starting I'm starting a discussion on nothing. And, and he's like, Oh, I'm down. He says, but, but what I like, what are we, what are we going to prep? And I said, oh, we're, we're not going to prep anything. <laughs> I said, we're just going to sit down and we're going to chat. And I said, it's going to be the easiest video you've ever done. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm not doing the editing. So yeah. <laughs> fair, it's fair. Easy. Um, <laughs> but no, like one of like going back to there's, 
there's a story that you kind of talked about. There's two that, that ring true to me, but one of them I'm going to leave because I think we can probably do like a really cool little short on it. And the one okay. is the egg, I'm assuming. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll do the egg. Andy Weir, uh, go read it. It's beautiful. Yeah, but there's another thing that you had like said to me one day that hasn't really left. And it, it was it was basically saying, you know, the story starts out, you're a leaf. And you're on this tree filled with a bunch of other leaves, and then fall hits, and you know winter's coming, and and as that leaf, you know your 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 time is about to end. Like your time's your, coming out, up, man. <clears throat> and and scientifically, it can be proven that when fall hits and and leaves start to change, like there's, there's they tremble, yeah, they'll tremble. There's, there's a bit of shaking. There's a bit. Of, there's a bit of fear actually that you can measure on a on a scientific proven level that there's this going on, and then winter hits and all the leaves drop. They drop. They drop. They're dead. They're done. They're they're returning back to the great cycle, if you will. But you then realize, oh my god, oh, I wasn't <laughs> I the fucking I, leaf. I thought I was a goddamn leaf. I'm the, the damn goddamn tree. tree. But, then, you know, <laughs> but then the tree dies. But then the tree dies. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god. Oh I'm wait, I wasn't tree. that either. I thought I was the tree. <laughs> I'm I'm this fucking ground, this earth. I'm the whole ground. Oh my god. But then the fucking earth dies and you realize what? Right? Oh, I'm the whole fucking universe. So you know that that right there if there's a better like the representation of life and what you are is constantly happening around you because it has no other reason not to happen because it is you everywhere right at all points and times now your ego because you are <laughs> you are a human gotta being, grab a that human you know a human being a human being jordan a human right. being daniel <laughs> whatever the fuck you want the human to be being it's being <laughs> Right. You there's there's a sense of that that should never be let go of. That separation I think is so vital, so important. It's true. If, if you could it's let true. go of everything, if you could let go of absolutely everything, what purpose would anything have? Right. 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 Well, and that's the thing is like, you know, for a second, just just pretend that uh, that yeah, you you were one with the universe. The universe and you were the same exact thing. There wasn't even this like happening. It was all just like, oh yeah, like that's me and that's the universe. Okay, like I got you. Okay, that's the same thing, completely all the time. Well then, like, there's no Jordan. There's no Daniel. There's no viewers. There's no listeners. There's no room. There's no guitars, there's no music, there's no sound, there's not even now, right? There's not, there's not anything. Like, so what? So what? So and that's exactly why I'm Daniel, you're Jordan, those are guitars, yeah, there's a now, and we have that's stuff to do. <laughs> that is, yeah. you are, at the core of everything, you are utterly 100%. Can't even say that. You are just completely a fucking alone. You yeah. are a loan. So what are... better way to break up that loneliness than by creating seven plus billion <laughs> individual perspectives? They can all, all these, do what they want. All these things, you know, like like there's a bass guitar here. There's there's this weird fucking plastic bottle. There's that vape. There's this vape. Like why, man? Because you might as well distract yourself from the fact that you are utterly fucking that alone. you're that you're it. That there's only this. Because that's, that's about where when you hit a conversation with somebody that you've never talked to, like that somehow the conversation comes here. Because it does. For me, it does. Yep. Um, Same. Like, well, that's, people, that's, people, people love talking to me because because it always where, comes back to this. Where, where they land, like right there when you say that you are utterly alone, it, it stops there. The point is... At your true being, you are utterly alone. And obviously, you don't like that, which is why there's this. 
So meaning when this experience of this is over, I, I, I beg to say the last thing you're going to allow yourself to experience is complete aloneness. There's going to be something else where you are no longer oh, yeah. alone. Yeah, and you'll create a whole be, new universe. <laughs> it might not be a person. It, it might only be things. I might only surround in my next goddamn experience of quote unquote life. I, it might just be me and there's nothing. I'm in a room and I've got this microphone where I can <laughs> fuck with it or, or, or this phone that, but I don't know anybody, so I can't text them. So I'll find Yeah, there's no phone. phone. If it's just you in this universe, then it's, there's but no you phone. You never know, man. Like if you, and Alan wants Right there, why would there be a phone? Why would there be other people if it's just me? That doesn't well, make any because, sense. Because you don't want to be alone now, and that's all there is now. So that's how you know <laughs> right. there's nothing else right. other than yeah, the you've, experience. Yeah, you've created this illusion, and you've sunken yourself so deeply into it because you – not because you don't want to be alone, but because there's so much beauty that, and, and enrichment that occurs when you split yourself up. <laughs> there's, right. there's so much to the experience. You know, it's vastly different than, you know, than being alone, you know, go meditate, meditate for, for, you know, four hours straight sometime. And you'll realize that you're, you're not really ever alone. You've got all sorts of voices and stuff that want to talk. Trust yeah, me. Man. Give it, a, give it a shot for 10 minutes. Give it 10 minutes. And you tell me if there's not thousands of things to talk about in there. Now, the point of meditation, though, isn't to, isn't to quiet no, that. It's, it's to be aware of that. To be aware of that, exactly. Exactly. To be able to acutely focus your awareness to that, right? And go, oh, that's not true at all. <laughs> that is worthwhile. And you snag yeah, that. The question, the, question <laughs> is, is like, the question is, is who's asking the question? Who's asking the question? Exactly. Yes. That's, Absolutely. That's you, you people around. will say, yeah, people will say, well, I am. And then you say, well, who am I? Who, who's that I? Ask that well, question. If you're asking who, it, who then is why that? are you hearing it? Like, if you're asking it, then why are you hearing it? That yeah. There's an internal dialogue that will always answer you. Me. It's me. You'll ask yourself, who am I? And you'll get a, a response. Me. I'm Daniel. Well, okay. So then who heard that? Right. Well, well, I did. Okay. Well, who are you? Well, I'm Daniel. Well, no. See, if if you're Daniel, then who's hearing that? Because Daniel couldn't be like doing that. <laughs> well, it's, just, it's just a. Oh man, it's like trying to unravel ramen noodles. It's literally unravel. It's realize unraveling ramen noodles before you've introduce water to their existence yeah yeah well that was break apart yeah, yeah. And that's, see and that's the thing is like like the pursuit of enlightenment or the pursuit of you know spiritual understanding or even an understanding of life or reality and consciousness this the reason you're listening to this podcast period is utterly pointless because what you're doing is unraveling yourself and at the end of this thing you're going to have a pile of yarn in which used to be you and is now just a pile of yarn with the rest of everything but and when that happens like, yeah when but, when that happens like your whole ego is going to go bye-bye right but don't but like, don't worry it'll come back It'll come Don't back. worry. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. Don't worry about yeah. it because all of a sudden yeah. that yard's going to gonna roll itself back up into the tightest ball it's ever been. Like that, yeah. that's Even more happen. tight. More tight, more yarn this time. More tight, more yarn. <laughs> I, I, yeah. don't, I, I don't have yarn. No. You're going to have to just do it really tight then. Don't worry. Your ego has it for you. I'll just it's got it new, covered. I'll, you know what? It's got it covered. Just, I'm just going to buy a new yarn. See, they're already going. They're yeah, already I going. Worry about it. I can, it's already, already wrapped. They're already wrapped up tight. Both our egos are wrapped back up. No worries. There it is. There we go. We're good. 
<laughs> well, I think we can probably call this one then. Yeah? I think so. Um, I think that this has been a good show. I appreciate you being on. Yeah, man. Um, interesting. Yeah, always, always will be. Yeah, always will be. Um, let's go ahead and, you know, have you on again. I'm, I'm down to, yeah. to have you back on. Um, we'll, we'll kind of do guests on the show. So, I mean, if you're interested even in being on the show, you know, just know this will be the topic. Um, we'll always talk about this. We can bring up lots of different stuff about it, obviously, like, there's well, religions, there's secret societies, when, there's when talking about all nothing, sorts of stuff. When you're talking yeah. about nothing, the topic is everything. So Right. This is more uh, along the lines of, I think, I think trying to find, you know, trying to find different paths to it, right? Because there are different paths to, like, sort of the understanding in which non-understanding is. <laughs> and, um, you know, religions, a lot of religions have it. They, they got it. It's, yeah. it's true. They get, they get what it is. And, um, and a lot of secret societies. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right absolutely. Right. Yeah. Secret societies are another big thing. You know, um, they do that philosophy, you know, we'll talk about a lot of stuff. Um, you know, we can even jump into an episode where we talk about, you know, hallucinogenics, you know, and people's usage of them through the years, because there's been a lot of a lot of usages in order to understand nothing <laughs> um, by way of, you know, of psychedelics. And uh, there's, there's a lot of merit to all these different perspectives as to ways to kind of navigate this whole confusing thing that we call life, right? Because none of us know what the hell's going on. Like, if anybody claims that they know what the fuck is going on, don't listen to them because nobody knows what's going on. There's stuff that they know about, sure, but there's no understanding of, of reality. Reality is just this completely right. mind-fucky there's, illusion. There's, there's an understanding. <laughs> like, I, I, need, I need to say this, like, now, just for the viewers that are, like, maybe – just stumbled across this channel. Fair. Okay. There's, <laughs> Fair. There's, there's an understanding, but the deepest you can get from a personal understanding is a personal experience. Uh, Correct. From that personal experience, two things happen. You, you compound on it and grow from it, or you try to make sense of it. And the minute you start making sense of it, the less you really understand. Right. You can't quantize it. Yeah. You can't, you can't put it into a box. <laughs> so like, no, this channel, like if you were led here and if you're watching this and hearing this, you are led here for the sole purpose that you're ready to hear this. Now you still have a choice in that matter. You can, you can subscribe to us and, and hear more. You can, turn this off and think about it all day long and then recollect on it months down the road. Uh, you know, the, the fact remains the same. If you somehow landed on this specific episode that we're putting out, it wasn't by mistake. Nothing is ever by no. mistake. So yeah, maybe stick around, maybe get engaged with this, this show yeah absolutely the things we're talking about is it's 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 going to be the new norm like i know it sounds so coded so so secretive so, so well, yeah cryptic right like we're talking cryptics i'm being as literal as i can possibly be nothing is right in front of you it's behind you too it's inside of you it is you and it's the most literal thing i can possibly try and point out to you is that right. it's that but that's so hard to like catch because yeah, it no. sounds like I'm talking cryptic, but I'm not right. <laughs> at all. And that's, and that's all I really wanted to say, just like to preface. And I, I, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm super stoked that you had me as your first guest. I would be honored to come back and uh, lucky for you guys, you'll see plenty of me because I work with this fool. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, like like and subscribe our channel if uh, if you like what you see. If you're not a fan of this show, that's all right. We got no offense taken here. Yeah. Um, there's also there's if you click the bell, you can uh, personalize your 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 notifications. So if you don't want to hear about this show or you only want to hear about this show, you can customize it. So um, that's kind of a cool new feature that YouTube sort of uh, recently, I think. Oh, I just I recently love, noticed it. What, what I love about all that is how quick this discussion on nothing just intervened into separation again. That yeah, was, absolutely. Like, <laughs> and subscribe. like and subscribe. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Because I gotta wind those, right? wind those, wind those, wind those yarn balls back up. You know? Yeah, you'll you'll need it because we're gonna unwind it on the next episode. So absolutely, that's Same the move. Hell yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Thank you again, Jordan, for being here. And uh, until next time, I'm, until next now, we'll, uh, we'll chat about nothing. Peace.